Hey, what is up everybody? It is June with Race Signs, where we don't just build signs, we build brands. And today I'm gonna show you guys the best app when it comes to designing on a tablet. I want to make sure I give a big shout out to our followers on TikTok. They're the reason for today's video. <laughs> what happened is that on TikTok, I posted this video and I had a whole bunch of people ask me, hey, what app are you using? So I went ahead and made this video today. If you guys are not following us on TikTok already, then you guys need to make sure you head over there, follow us at Race Signs. We post new content every single day and we reply back to every single comment. Also, you wanna make sure you stick around to the very end because I'll be showing you guys how to set up a custom pressure sensitive brush. Let's get started. All right, so the app that I'm using is AstroPad Studio. So there is two versions of AstroPad. There's AstroPad and AstroPad Studio. I prefer the Studio version, but uh, I will leave a link below to their website. And this is not an affiliate video, nothing like that. They're not paying me to say this. This is just the app that I found, I like, and I love to use when it comes to getting designs done um, with my system. So anyway, it's AstroPad Studio. All right, and one of the reasons why I'm using AstroPad is because I have an iPad mini and I do all my designing on this iPad mini. You can use this with a regular iPad Pro, I think, um, and any version of an iPad Pro, anything that you can really use your pencil with. So um, I have it here as well, and it is a paid app, so you do have to pay for it. Um, link below, and I'll put the price somewhere here of what it currently is. Um, and basically, it works seamlessly, wirelessly. I just have you can like I said the iPad it works completely wirelessly you can also do a wired connection so I do like that versatility of it having wireless option and a wired in option so anyway it's super simple once you get set up with an account um, you download the app to your iPad and you also download the app to your Apple computer and this is mainly an Apple to iPad so I have a MacBook Pro so it's mainly a MacBook Pro to iPad system um, i haven't tried it on a pc or any windows computer so i don't know if it works there you guys might just have to do trial and error but i know for sure astropad and a macbook pro will get the job done all right so the way that astropad works is as soon as you download the app onto your macbook and onto your ipad uh, you can go ahead and get started with the design process it does give you some options on how much real estate you want to use on your ipad and your computer i have a wide screen monitor so a lot of the real estate the proportions are definitely going to be different than an iPad mini so I kind of choose to go with the 100% zoom and that is what I'm able to view on my tablet as you guys can see and whatever I um, gesture or a thing that I write down on this tablet it is pretty responsive I would say this is the most responsive application that there is I've tried a couple of different options I've even tried Apple sidecar when it comes to trying to to do this a lot of people use sidecar for this purpose but the difference between this and sidecar is that this has pressure responsiveness so it has pressure of responsiveness and it is super responsive. Um, I do like using Sidecart because Sidecart allows you to have your iPad as a second monitor. Um, so that's cool, but this allows you to have basically a the power of a drawing tablet. So instead of getting a Wacom tablet or Wacom tablet, whatever, it, whatever you guys pronounce it as, um, you would just get your iPad and you can go ahead and keep the workflow seamless. So that's why I personally like AstroPad over Sidecart. But comment down below uh, if you're a AstroPad user already, if you're a user of some other software, or if you are a Sidecart user. I'm really interested to see because uh, from the TikTok video, a lot of people were kind of like, oh, I use Sidecart or I use this or um, what do you use? So there are a lot of options up. Uh, there are a lot of options. It just kind of depends on the discipline that you're following. Um, as far as like design discipline, or if you're into photographer, be uh, videographer, if you're into just like reading emails, different people will use their iPad and MacBook and that whole ecosystem in different ways. But my recommendation for graphic designers is this way. I'm gonna go ahead and share a couple of tips and my favorite tips and tricks, I guess, of AstroPad now. 
All right, so here's my favorite thing about AstroPad and it is that pressure sensitivity I was talking to you guys. So this is basically how I do it. You go to the paintbrush and then if you were to just write with a regular paintbrush, there is no pressure sensitivity. I already have the, and I already have a custom brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that custom brush away. So let's do that. All right, so if you use the regular round brush, as you can see, um, as you can see, if I write some squiggle lines, they're all kind of, no matter how hard I'm pressing on my iPad, they're all, or how light I press, they're all gonna be the same shape and size. But in order to have that custom uh, brush and that versatility, you have to create a brush. Um, and this would be the same with a Wacom tablet uh, for the most part. So in order to do that, I just simply go here. Um, then I go to a new brush, calligraphy brush. I hit okay. And then here I'm just going to put a custom brush. Cool. All right. And the angle, I like to do the whole 180 twist, the size. Um, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with 9. I'll go 15. Let's go 15. Let's see if we can get a good difference in size. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm going to put pressure. So pressure, pressure. And then for variation, you want to make sure that this is selected to 180 or whatever uh, variation. Like I said, custom brush, it allows you to do whatever. And then also you want to go into variation. You got to make sure that the size variation, I always put it to 15. So it kind of gives me that dynamic range. Uh, the, the more further right you slide, the more dynamic range you're going to get. So hit OK. All right. And then here comes the money shot. Oops, I got to make sure. OK, I'm in my custom brush. And then uh, make sure I am selecting the brush tool. Cool. And then I'm just going to go and make a thin to thick line. Thin to thick. Cool. So as you see, um, the more the more or less pressure that I apply, um, the more or less like result you'll get. So um, I can go ahead and be light. And then I can go into a thicker stroke just like that. And same if I go like a straight line. I can try to do a straight line, I guess. Straight line is a little bit harder, but there you go. Thin to thick. So I really like that about AstroPad. And it's super, like I said, it's smooth like butter. It's responsive and it's all wireless. So like I could literally, you see the screen right there and you see my screen and I'm just going to type in hi. And it like it's instant the response is completely instant so that's my favorite part about it um so i recommend this application for any of you graphic designers out there any of you who want to go ahead and use your ipad as a drawing tablet don't limit yourself there is a whole bunch of capability that this little app can do um, i just simply use it for this iPad for this tablet to Adobe Illustrator use. Sometimes I use it for Photoshop, but there's so many things that you could do with this app. And like I said, I will leave the link below to AstroPad um, in, in the description, so make sure you guys check it out. Um, but that is gonna be it for today. I am June with Ray Science, where we don't just build science, we build brands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys follow us on TikTok, where I post daily, so you guys see all the things that we do. And uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel, hit the notification bell. We do post videos about signs, wraps, graphic design, sticker making, all of that, so you don't wanna miss out. Uh, and I will have a lot more videos, so see you guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.